this is a problem from AMC 10B 2013 problem 22. Let us quickly go over the problem statement. We have a regular octagon and uh, the task is to place the nine digits one through nine on the vertices of the octagon and the center. So we have nine points including the center and nine digits. And what is the restriction? It is that the sum of the three numbers on each diagonal has to be the same. So for example, we could have a situation like this where let's say we select uh, the number 5 for the center and we reassign or we assign the remaining 8 numbers to the 8 vertices such that the sum on each diagonal is 15. Okay, so that this is just one example. So how are we going to simplify this problem? First we see that uh, the center J is common to all four diagonals. So if we take that out, we will still get uh, a sum that is the same for all diagonals, except now instead of 15, the sum will be 10. So what is the advantage of taking out J? We now have pairs instead of triplets of numbers. So let us uh, label the diagonals D1, D2, D3, and D4. And we are going to assign an ordered pair to each diagonal. And that pair represents the vertices on the diagonal. Also, let us uh, consider each ordered pair as a single object or a group. So the question is how many permutations are possible among these four objects? Or how many rearrangements are possible? So when we rearrange these four objects, all we're doing is assign a pair to a different diagonal. If we do that, the sum remains the same, so we still satisfy the condition. So it turns out there are factorial 4 permutations possible among these four um, diagonals. And now let us look inside each ordered pair. We see that we can interchange the order of the elements in the, in the pair. So we can um, take 4, 6 and make that 6, 4. In other words, we flip the vertices. So that would give us two possibilities for each pair. And for each of these two possibilities, we have factorial 4 fresh permutations. So overall, we have uh, factorial 4 times 16 arrangements possible. And that is just for one selection of the number j. So the question is, how many selections of j are possible? Can we have any of the 9 digits, 1 through 9 for j? Before we answer that question, let us add up the four, uh, the nine natural numbers one through nine. If we do that, we get a sum of forty-five. Okay, so we take forty-five and we subtract j from the total. So what can we say about um, that sum? That is the total of the eight vertices, and that has to be divisible by 4. Why is that? Because we take that sum and we divide it into 4 equal subsums, and each sum represents the um, sum of the two numbers on each vertex of each diagonal. Therefore, uh, the sum of those eight numbers has to be a multiple of 4. So how many possibilities are there for j that satisfy that condition? We could have j1, that would give us 44, 5, that would give us 40, and 9, that would give us 36. So in total, we have three possible selections of j. And for each of those selections, we have already um, figured out how many arrangements are possible. So our final answer will be total number of arrangements for each selection times the number of selections 
and we end up with the answer 1152. So to sum up what we did was we stated the problem, we simplified it by removing the center and uh, we figured out how many arrangements are possible. Then we figured out how many selections of J we are allowed to make given the restrictions. We multiplied everything together and we got the final answer. Thanks.